guys, it's time for another chit chat. Girl, it's been a minute. I've been busy. <laughs> I've been very busy. Um, I put out, put out, I put out quite a few of videos in January because I knew I would be busy in February and busy in March. Um, I tend to be like one of those type of YouTubers that like to have at least one or two videos scheduled. And I just have one, which means that I need to be actively recording this week, which is why I'm doing three videos today. Yes, one being a chit chat. So y'all, my hair is, she's looking good, huh? I blew up my hair last week, been about seven days. So what we're gonna be doing, we are going to try and recreate a hairstyle. You know that banged intro I have where I'm shaking my hair in the back? We're gonna to try to recreate that hopefully but i'm going to be using the um mayel organics pomegranate and honey line i purchased these during the black friday sale and we're going to be using perm rods so like i said we're going to be doing a little bit of chit chat don't have a lot to discuss but we're gonna make it do okay um, so all right y'all y'all know how we do this we talk about what's in these youtube streets we talk about what i'm watching on tv and then we talk about a little bit of personal life um, we're gonna do this a little bit backwards because I just got back from Texas and I just uploaded my Texas vlog. Y'all, every time I go home, I get homesick. Although this time I was missing my husband because he didn't come with us. Um, and I don't think I will ever do that again. Y'all, we are, we are a small, close family. Um, my baby was FaceTiming him like every other like every three or four hours, I kid you not. Then the first night, I could tell he really missed us because he called us after after he got off of work several hours, but it was almost one o'clock in the morning. I mean, sorry, it was midnight, our time, so we were asleep. Yeah, we we missed, we missed him. So um, I was able to see so many people that I have not seen since I was a child. And it was only, the only, because all these people came up for my mom's birthday party, right? So it was just a wonderful time to see everyone. But what I was gonna say, I always get homesick. I always just have the urge to just hurry up and just move back. Um, but it was a little bit different this this time. I don't know what, like, well, I think primarily because my husband wasn't with me. But yeah, I had a great time, great time, great time seeing everyone. Um, Everything else is going well, you know, in the house. We are, girl, did y'all do your taxes? Oh, child, like I'm over it. I I'm just over it. We ain't getting hardly nothing, but you know what? Praises to God. Girl, I thought I heard something. Um, we don't owe anything. So I'm okay with, you know, the little bit that we're getting. We're gonna use that money to um, start remodeling our guest bathroom and, <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go with the same guys we went with um, the time before. They were good, but we also want him to look at our shower and our master because the water is getting on the floors. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Not getting back hardly anything, child. <clears throat> so, um, what else is going on, y'all? We're trying to plan a trip, a family trip to Sedona in March. We'll see how that goes. Um, Ooh, but yeah, being back home and seeing that everyone, and y'all hear me say this all the time. Time goes by so fast, y'all. It really does. Let me adjust the lights. Y'all know how I am. Time is going by so fast. And so I'm not, 2020, we are not, look, you are not, you. We are not wasting any time in 2020. We're not allowing people, we're not wasting our time, and we're not allowing people to also waste our time, okay? So I was very serious. I literally, when I came back today, I started editing on my book. And I, I emailed um, the editor, my friend, and was like, well, we need to get the ball rolling because I've, I've sat on this for months now. And yeah, time, we gotta get it going. So yeah, y'all, about that, you know, nothing much is going on. Let me tell you something. It's a little bit of build up there from some um, edge control, but that's okay. Y'all, were y'all doing that silly broom challenge? Oh my gosh. I saw a couple, I don't, first of all, I'm not even on Facebook that much. And so I saw a couple of videos and people were saying, well, due to the gravitational pull and the earth's are aligned. No, if you notice, most of the brooms 
they were able to do that, they looked alike. They were like the same design, but it's the type of room. It has nothing to do with physics or any, it's the type of model, I'm sorry, it's the design of the broom and all that. Oh, Lord. Yeah, okay. that's it, y'all, with, with family life, catching up on that. So, girl, in these YouTube streets. So, have y'all been catching the Diva Curl? The Diva Curl drama? Apparently, Diva Curl products have been not only causing damage to people's hair, it's been changing the hair texture. Of several YouTubers have now put out videos. Um, it's changed the curl texture, um, thinning. There is even a Facebook group with thousands of women who are sharing their stories as it pertains to using the Diva Curl products. I was this close to getting that little, you know how they have that little bitty kit with samples? They sell it at Sally's, they sell it at, um, what did I say, Ulta? They, they're starting to sell it everywhere now. I was this close to getting it. I'm subscribed to someone named Stephanie. She also used to go by the Curl Ninja. She changes her YouTube name. And she did a video on it. And I was like, wow. So a couple of people, uh, not a couple, at least two people on YouTube are actual chemists. One is the curly chemist. She recently did a video because I asked her a couple of weeks ago. I said, are you going to do a video on the Diva Curl products? And can you let us know if there's any type of ingredients that could be causing this? So she just uploaded her response. Um, and she, I appreciate her type of knowledge and what she brings to YouTube because it's very rare. She's in that same lane as Green Beauty Channel. You know, she brings a scientific background, um, which is very much needed on this platform, okay? But in her video, she stated that she the ingre there was nothing wrong with the ingredients that she could see. There was nothing wrong with the formula, um, that everything looked okay. She thinks that it's due to the reason why these women are having damage is because they are using the curly girl method, meaning that they are not using shampoo to cleanse their hair. They're co-washing. The, then and let me back up and say this. She, she really said information based on the information that she had. I don't think that she looked at the other videos of um, several, there's like half a dozen other YouTubers who were cleansing their hair and they use styling products by Diva Curl. Something's going on y'all. So if it's not the ingredients, and, and this is another thing too, you don't have to list everything on a product. If it's less than a certain percentile, you don't have to list it. Something obviously has happened. But it seems like those that have been getting the damage have been the ones that are exclusively using um, the Diva Curl product. There is one young lady on here, I'm gonna catch her name. I saw her video last week when I tell you, she's probably 3A, 3B, because that's what Diva Curl mostly cater to, not necessarily cater to, but their products are really well, work well for looser curl patterns, the waves, okay? So she has beautiful long bunette. Um, and she stated that when she started using the products after a, after a while, she noticed that her curls to texture change. So she showed a picture of her, her hair freshly washed day one hair. We all know that when you do a wash and go, it was basically a wash and go. For, all, for most of us curly girls, when we do a wash and go, we get our best style day three, day four. Day one looks great, but day three and four is bomb. She came back on cam, her hair was completely, the texture was totally different. She didn't have hardly a curl. I was, I, there's not too many things that shock me. I was, I was shocked. Perhaps it's the container, you know, maybe there's something wrong with the container that their products are going in. Um, perhaps someone else had mentioned, I believe she's a chemist, the other chemist mentioned that uh, the essential oils may have changed. Um, Stephanie, AKA the Curl Ninja stated that she thinks um, some of it could be that um, when she added heat with the products that she noticed a reaction and she even showed a young lady um in her because she's an actual cosmetologist so she showed a young lady the damage to her hair and it was very noticeable so i saw some comments of people saying yeah you know some of these women just don't know what they're doing with the products or they're using too many products you cannot I, I don't like when I see stuff like that. You cannot deny all these women who are having all of these issues 
and seeing that they're not washing their hair properly or they're using the products incorrectly. Um, there's something wrong with the product line. There really is. I, Diva Curl apparently is supposed to be testing. I don't know if they're gonna do a recall, but I just find that very interesting. It seems like it's it's doing the same thing that the Win products were doing to women's hair. And someone else tried to get me on that. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's very sad. I mean, I don't know, when it comes to curl texture, can you, how can you correct that? I mean, I get thinning hair, um, hopefully with time their hair, hair will grow back once they stop using the products, but how do you correct your curl texture? Oh, it's just a sad ordeal, it really is. Nothing else I'm watching on YouTube really, you guys. There's really not much going on in these YouTube streets, which is, I think is a good thing. There's nothing drama. What I'm watching on Netflix. So I did finish, I don't know if I told y'all, I did finish True Detective season three. Loved it, absolutely loved it. I have um, stuff down here. I told y'all Busby got me watching, Antoinette got me watching The Outsider Girl. The Outsider is not on Netflix. The Outsider is on HBO. I purposely got HBO just to watch this show. When I tell you this show is creepy as hell, it's called The Outsider and it's based on a Stephen King novel. Stephen King's already crazy. We already, we know this. So yes, it's a little disturbing, but I'm here for it. Recently added Lock and Key to my list and The Stranger, I'm gonna catch those. I binge watch The Watchmen on HBO. I loved it. I actually, I like the movie. A lot of people is, with the movie it's a hit or miss, but I like the movie. Um, totally different spin on what I thought it would be, and I, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but it has Regina, what is it, Regina King? I love her um, from 227, so I love the movie. And yeah, you guys, I rewatch, let me keep doing my hair. Yeah. Keep reminding me to do my hair, child. I rewatch the movie Catfish. Child, when I tell you all these episodes, because I don't think people realize Catfish, the series, was based on a movie, Catfish, in which the 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 now host, Neth, he was basically catfish. And um I rewatched the movie that came out in like 2006, 2007. I can't believe it was that long ago. Honey. All these little people on these series, all these kids ain't got nothing on the original Catfish Angela. This woman had created 15, 16, 20 odd profiles to basically catfish this dude and fell in love with him and she's married. <laughs> and her husband seems to be turning a blind eye, a blind eye to it. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, that's, that's on HBO right now. Look at this, what, what is going on? Um, Y'all, somebody passed away recently, I was gonna tell y'all. Um, what's her name, what's her name? I wrote it down. Paula, Paula Kelly? Paula Kelly, I believe that was her name. She was 77 years old. Remember the um, women of Brewster's Place? And it was the lesbians, the lesbian couple, the fair-skinned fair woman and the dark woman with that banging bob. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. I was a child when that series was out. That, that was with Jackie, Oprah Winfrey was on, or every, girl, everybody was on this um, show. And it was, how many parts was it? I think it was like four or five parts. And um, when I tell you, I was a child when it came out and I didn't know anything about it. I just thought it was weird that two women were kissing each other. I'm like, if y'all friends, why are you kissing like that? I didn't know anything about that stuff, <laughs> but. I admire that woman's hair, her style, her taste, her class. She was, to me, that was someone, I was like, she's impeccable. I just love everything about her. And she passed away today. Um, I was just reading on the news and I was like, wow, I, I loved her in that movie. I love her, her style and everything. And I guess she was on another show from the 70s. It was way past my, um, before my time. So I was in Night Court, I believe it was. So. Yeah, you guys, so anyway, that's going on. Nothing much else. I was stalking Jeff Goldblum on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, so random. I was stalking Jeff Goldblum on, on um, Jeff Goldblum on Instagram, y'all. He's, uh, he's zaddy. And his wife is young. Lord have mercy, he's weird, but I like weird, man. My husband's weird. 
Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be a quick chit chat because we ain't got a lot to say. Yeah, y'all, but that's about it. I wanted this to be a really quick chit chat. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care.